Hi, this is Martin, and I'd like to show you another tutorial about Material Manager. In this case, I would like to show you the new features um, which were introduced with uh, version 115, 116, and 117. Um, and among others, these are especially for the previews. So, um, new in 115 was the option to save a preset without. A thumbnail and that is because um, sometimes when you're saving a preset let's say I want to save this preset um, and I don't want to render the, the thumbnail immediately I can just say uh, would you like to create a thumbnail for this preset I say no and then the preset is being generated but no thumbnail has been created and this is of course much faster and sometimes I really want to have custom thumbnails so I can replace this thumbnail just with this function replace thumbnail when I click on the preset and then right click I have this option so I can just say replace thumbnail I'm choosing any um, whatever any image and then it's replaced it's cropped and here it is so um, that's one option. So you can replace uh, the thumbnail from any any preset. In addition, um, a new feature was introduced with uh, 117, so the newest version, uh, which allows us to add any number of custom thumbnails, uh, thumbnail presets. And that's pretty cool, I think, since uh, you're not limited to one uh, thumbnail per preset, but you can also have different ones. Um, you can move, uh, remove them. Uh, you can, you can add more if you want. Click on the plus, choose any, um, any image, and then you have another thumbnail. So um, quite neat, I think. You can remove them here, and that's it. So uh, that allows me to um, add whatever renderings I have. Let me delete this one. For example, let me see. Uh, here I added different ones. Uh, for example, I have the original thumbnail, I have just the texture, I have a test rendering, another test rendering, and another test rendering to give me a better idea of what the material looks like when used in the rendering. Or um, there's another one, this one, uh, which I just show, showed you. And well, you can you can you understand the idea, you know? You can just add thumbnails wherever you want to give it to, to have a more detailed view or a different lighting or a different geometry etc so um, that's new in 117 another thing which was introduced in 116 um, was the option to use custom thumbnail scenes so uh, currently um, when you save a preset the thumbnail with the VP logo with the Vispark logo is being used but you can exchange this uh, to your own or the ones that we provide. With the newest version now, uh, the 117, we're providing thumbnails for um, for Fabric, for example, which you can download separately. When you log into your account, you'll see another file. But you can also create your own, and I'm going to show you how this works. Um, right before, I'd like to give you a brief overview. What else you can do? You can adjust the thumbnail render size, 600, 600. In this case, you can go lower or higher. Um, currently, you will only see this size, but we'll implement the, um, the resizing or the, the enlarging of preview soon. So you'll be able to preview thumbnails in a um, um, bigger uh, display. Uh, then we have the th uh, custom thumbnails and uh, the quality settings. So fast, we'll render a quick. Um, thumbnail but with lower uh, quality settings good renders medium and high very high but it takes a bit so um, you can choose whatever you want uh, and whatever is enough for your quality and for your material all right so um, let's start to uh, talk about how you can create your own thumbnail scenes or you can how you can modify thumbnail scenes as you can see uh, this is the original thumbnail um, folder which you can find 
when you uh, look at the installation location, which is Program Files, then this part, Material Manager, Render Settings. This is where all thumbnail scenes, one for each renderer, is located. There is one for each renderer necessary since every renderer has its own um, options and, and lighting and, and algorithms, so it was necessary to create different ones. Um, if you just work with V-Ray or Corona, it, it's enough if you use that one or um, create your own for V-Ray. You don't have to do that for all these. So um, first thing you should do, you, you should create a new folder. You don't have to do that here in this location. You can also use a different location. But I'm going to do this here since it's e easier to maintain that for me. Um, I'm creating a new folder. I call it Render Settings new or tutorial or whatever you want to call it it's up to you really and um, I'll render our settings well it's not important if this folder has the same name it's just for me right now so um, then I'm copying the V-Ray version I also copy these copy these copy Paste. Work. Let's see. Copy and paste. There we go. So now I have created uh, a new folder. If I switch to this folder within the settings here, um, automatically the one in this folder will be taken if you use V-Ray. If you use a different renderer, the original one um, for the specific render will, renderer will be used. Uh, it's important to keep the naming convention so these um, uh, these scenes will really be uh, taken. So thumbnail underscore V-Ray or thumbnail underscore Corona etc. is the correct naming convention. So uh, let me load this one so I can demonstrate how the technique works. Render settings. I'll take the one from this tutorial folder and then you'll see how the original um, thumbnail is prepared. Uh, since I want to have different geometry in this I will delete this one or I can just hide it. Important to know is that I have to use this naming convention for the objects since the material is automatically assigned to only specific geometry within a scene. Um, this, the objects have to be named this way. So any object having this name, preset manager, render object, will get the material assigned that is being saved from material manager or the scene. So um, I'll hide this one. This one, and I don't need these. No, these are the lights. I don't need these. Uh, and this, and uh, let's see. Where is it? Let's try. Okay, so um, of course you can you can also delete this or the background, whatever you want. I'm just keeping this for simplicity. So um, I'll just take the teapot for ease of use right now. Um, I'll move it up here. Let's see. And um, if I would save this scene now and try to use it as the source for the preview, it wouldn't work since uh, this teapot has the wrong name. I copied the naming previously, so oh, it didn't work. Sorry about that. But I can just do this again. Render object one. Copy. Paste and 
that's it. Maybe I'll just move around the camera a bit and uh, like this, and I'll save it. So now I have resaved the some thumbnail V-Ray in this render settings tutorial folder, which is selected as the default thumbnail scene or not yet but now it's selected and um, when I'm saving a preset uh, material now I'll reset the scene so uh, let me create a material a VRA material quickly on a car paint for example um, Now let me save this one. I say yes to create a thumbnail and as you'll see the new thumbnail will be created with um, the teapot, with the customized scene that I have just created. While the, the original object in the background has, hasn't been changed, I've exchanged the shader ball with this one. So basically you can create any type of geometry as long as you use the name um, the naming convention this will be used to assign automatically assign the material and then render the thumbnail so um, yeah that's basically it uh, here it is um, actually it's a bit too light I think that's because of the gamma settings but um, you get the idea so uh, I hope you like it um, Try out the Pro Beta, which is free right now. We will extend it um, until we release the full commercial version. But until then, you can use it. You can use the user library. You can manage and maintain your own materials. Um, use the attributes. Uh, use the, the included materials. So we've already uploaded a few um, materials for different renderers. Uh, and yeah, hope you make good use of it and let us know what you think through the report problem form if you have any suggestions or problems. And um, yeah, we hope you will make good use of it. Alright, that's it. Talk soon. Bye bye.